What's going on? It's Michael from Reality Hacker. And in the next three minutes, I want to tell you the one thing that if you do do in 2023, it will radically alter your circumstances and the outcomes that you create. Here's the thing about the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between something that happens out here and something that happens out here. Also, it has no motive. It has no ulterior agenda. So what you impress upon it, what you impregnate it with ultimately becomes your experience. So the subconscious mind doesn't really care if we've got patterns, if we've got cycles, what it does care about and what it pays attention to is what states we are moving and existing in and out of on a regular basis. So the one thing that you can do in 2023 and the rest of 2022 to actually begin to see differences in your manifesting is set an intention to be mindful of your states. Here's the thing. If you're not being mindful about your states of consciousness, you can't really begin to create correlations that show you how certain states lead to specific outcomes. At the end of the day, it doesn't change. Whatever we feel and assume to be true becomes reality for us. We automatically see everything through the lens of what we believe to be true with ourselves. And this is why when we move into a new state of consciousness, we seem to, we seem to see new things. And it's not because they weren't there. Creation is finished. It's because in our looking at ourselves in a new way, we begin to filter things from reality in a new way. And all of a sudden, this is where we begin to notice the bridges of incidents. We begin to notice opportunities that can lead us to the fulfillment in physicality of outcomes. Because at the end of the day, when I'm mindful of my states, I'm mindful of my feeling. And if feeling is the secret and I choose to inject that feeling of openness, of satisfaction, of joy, all of those feelings that I would get if I was already living my outcome, all of a sudden, I can't help but be directed towards those things, those people, those places where the manifestation of my outcome is clear. So recapping, right? The first thing you need to understand that your subconscious mind does not care about what you feel in the sense that it does not give uh, some sort of grace for choosing to exist in crappy states of consciousness, right? In other words, what we impress upon it repeatedly is what becomes reality. So this is not about trying hard. This is not about making sure that you're doing 55,000 affirmations. That's not the point here. The point is setting up a process for you to become mindful throughout the day when you're stepping into a state that is impressing unwanted and undesired outcomes onto your subconscious because your conscious mind is going to feed your subconscious and your subconscious is going to express into the world. So we cannot become conscious creators without becoming conscious of our states of consciousness. If you do this repeatedly, if you set the intention to become mindful of your self concepts, all of a sudden, right? You're going to notice why you do what you do, how certain behaviors only come out of certain states. You are so powerful. You already have everything that you need. You need to give yourself the space to become mindful, to become observant, to look at correlations. Because when you begin to do this, right? As the Egyptian proverb says, as you know yourself, you will know the universe and the gods. So the one thing that you can do, well, I guess it might be too here, that really affects your outcomes and how you navigate, right? Because it's not just about getting things and then being done. It's about navigating outcomes as they unfold. The one thing that you could do is set an intention to be mindful of your state. And what is a state of consciousness, right? A state of consciousness is the sum total of everything you are believing to be true in that moment. And what happens when I believe something to be true, it literally injects my, my nervous system, injects my body with that truth. And that truth of identity ultimately filters into what I believe to be possible, the actions that are in my inventory to take and the outcomes that unfold. Know this, you are so much more powerful than you think you are. And by monitoring your states and understanding how you go from self-concept to reaction and shifting that energy as quickly as you can, moving back to the state of your outcome fulfilled, you will impregnate your subconscious with exactly what is needed to express the desired reality into your world. It is not about how long you sit in a feeling, it is about returning to the feeling as much as possible. You are amazing, you are powerful, you are awesome, you are whole, you are worthy, you are adequate. We love you. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. More importantly, make sure to set the intention. Make sure to start, mon I mean, dude, start monitoring now.
Set that intention to be mindful now when you're having a conversation, when you're getting into an argument maybe, when you're in traffic, right? There are opportunities right now for us to become mindful of how we can optimize and higher tune our states of consciousness because the higher and more consistent our fullness is, the more consistent that fullness will be reflecting back to us in the world around us. Sounds good. You're amazing. Have an awesome, awesome day and I'll talk to you soon.